Okay guys, this is really exciting. One of the first questions we get asked and, and uh, you know, we get asked all the time is, can you extend the blower outlet into another room or through a wall or um, you know, just to blow the air into a different part of the house? And normally you can't. And the reason for that is the turbulent air displaces heat really fast. So that's how the coil work. It displaces heat really fast from the flue gases into the coil and it blows it out. But it's, because the air is still turbulent and that's why it causes the heat displacement in the room, it displaces it just as fast into any extension of the tube that's cold. Um, and so what we find is even extending the, the tube, the outlet tube, you know, an inch or so, you get such a massive drop off in the heat because it's all been sucked into the steel into the cold steel that it's not worth doing. Um, so, um, but we've sold it. And we have created a coated solution that if you look, produces A turbulent airflow that has lost very little of its heat through the process. Um, you know, so, so that's running at 260, 254. So just to compare it with the flue temperature there, that's significantly hotter, but it's 100 degrees. But you're still getting, you know, you're, you're still getting significant flow. Um, you can hear that the airflow is still turbulent, um, and that's must be because the heat and the velocity is not being sucked out by the extension um, and it is that hot. So that is really useful heat which we can then use to, for example, put through a back wall um, when you want to heat a separate area to, your, to, to the room that the stove is in. But what's particularly fantastic for us, which we're going to experiment with, um, is that when you've got a rear flue so you've got your flue coming in at the back. Um, at the moment, we haven't been able to offer a solution for that. Um, but now we will be able to put this up, turn it at a right angle and blow the heat over the top of the stove in the same way that you do from the upright one. So we're gonna have a solution. We're, going, we're experimenting with materials. Um, if we use the steel, we've got to make every piece to fit, um, which we can easily do. Um, but if we can use copper, for example, and um, coated in the same way with the same compounds, then um, we may be able to just ship that. Though we've got to experiment with how the compounds um, you know, work when they're unstable and whether they can be bent and all that sort of stuff. But we definitely now have a solution which we will be selling to extend the outlet pipe from your Rico heat into another area. Um, you can see how much it drops off, that's 100 degrees. So we're not talking about putting it into you know, you know, three meters because you'll still lose too much, but you don't need to do that. When you're heating other rooms, you open the door. But what this will do is allow us to sell units blown off the back uh, with a flue um, off the back, that will work. And also when people want to, which is quite common, They've got a stove, it heats a room, but the corridor behind, for example, is cold. They want to heat that area because if you can heat the corridor, you're heating the whole house and you're reducing the amount of, of you know, heating that you need to keep the bedrooms warm and to reheat um, the, the bedrooms and stuff like that. So it's actually a really useful um, way of exploiting this technology. Um, so we have a solution. That's fantastic. So get in touch if you're interested, if you want that and um, we'll, we'll be developing this over the next, um, yeah, I mean, the next couple of months, but we will have a solution. Thanks very much.